Well, fish eyes. I've got a lot of reports uh, from some areas and none from others, which is understandable this time of year. I mean, the weather's been pretty crap, but uh, still getting good reports from Dartmouth. Everyone who goes up is catching a few. And it doesn't seem to matter whether you're flat lining, lead lining, down rigging, they're right through the system and they're catching fish. And the same goes with most of our lakes at the moment when you're chasing trout, it's looking good. By the way, uh, the Victorian trout streams open up on the 1st of September, which is about 12 days away, roughly, uh, something like that. Uh, anyway, I'm not very good at math, so just you work that one out. 1st of September, the streams open up down there. They're going to be fantastic if we don't get heaps more rain, so it's looking good. Hume Weir, very good. A lot of activity there. Find some redfin, you're going to get a good bag of big redfin for a feed, no problem at all. The trout numbers seem to be sneaking up a little bit. Not getting those big 50, 60, 70 centimetre stuff. Uh, well, get the odd one, but seem to be getting three or four for the afternoon, uh, in particular the afternoons, in about that four to five, 550. Uh, so they're good fish anyway. Flat lining with Tassie seem to be the most consistent, but you will pick them up with a bit of lead line or even down rigging there, so they're getting them either either. But uh, why not just go flat lining? They seem to be catching just as many. Uh, the river below the Hume, running too high. Mawala, good, uh, very good. Getting some nice cod out of there. Don't forget the cod season closes, 1st of September, with the exception of Blowering and... There's a couple of others, Eildon and Copeton. And Copeton. Oh. I don't know what it is about these dams. I keep forgetting the names of them. <laughs> Sarah's laughing her head off. Copeton Dam, Eildon and Blowering open all year round. And we're getting some really good numbers of fish. Murrumbidgee River, a bit of a write-off for the time being. Uh, wouldn't worry about it for a while. Chimma River happens the first weekend in, well, October long weekend actually. Uh, looking so looking forward to that. Blowering Dam, it's fishing well. Uh, there's some nice red fin coming out, the occasional yellow starting to show up, some trout right up the top end. Now, this is probably not a surprise, but a little bit of news that I should let you know. Mason and I know a bloke that's been catching a lot of cod up at Blowering this season. 30 over a metre so far this season. Most of them, or just about all of them actually, are on Biwa soft plastics in the white, the red fin, that white seems to be pretty consistent. Uh, 30 over a metre. That's a huge amount of cod, and it's a huge amount of cast too. Don't forget, they're not just jumping in the boat. You know, you're probably a thousand, fifteen hundred cast per fish. But uh, that's dedication for you, pure dedication. I mean, that's really going for it. Tell Bingo, great. Doesn't get much better. Plenty of trout, a few redfin. Uh, Topping goes the best it's been for as long as I can remember. It's really, really good. Junamar Pondage, quite good, so we'll throw that one in the mix because it is good. Oh, by the way, Lake Elba's still fishing all right on Yellow Belly. Uh, out in the middle of Wagga. Uh, bait fishing, worms in particular. Getting a few yellows, not heaps. Talbingo, like I said, good, happy days there, whether it be Talbingo and or Sioux City, doesn't matter. Jindabyne, Yukonbeen, great. Plenty of trout coming out of there. I've had a couple of people ask me about Tentangra. I haven't had any reports from there. Not sure what the access is like, so you'll have to make a few phone calls yourself and chase that one up. I probably should, but I haven't had time. Wangler, getting really good reports out of Wangler at the moment. The cod are really starting to move there. Uh, there's the Grabon Classics the end of this month, uh, the last weekend, I think, and uh, I think there'll be a lot of fish caught. Bait fishing off the bank seems to be the go if you after yellows and stuff, but uh, trolling or casting for cod, definitely worth the effort at the moment. Barranjuk Dam, getting some uh, reasonable reports out of there, but not as many as I was getting here recently. Um, look, it's a fair bit of colour in it. I'd be looking around some of the clearer water or even the warmer water, right up around uh, Scrubby Little Scrubby, right up the, uh, near Tamus Bridge even. Uh, probably dirty water up there, but the yellows will start to move there soon, especially off the bank with bait. But they're getting some few cod out of it as well. As you can see, we've got enough activity around us to keep us excited, keep us pumped, and hopefully we get some fine weather over the next couple of weeks. Complete English Fishing Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.